here today. <laughs> <laughs> she's hiding. She's, she's hiding. doing a little camera shot, but I'm hoping she'll pop her head. <laughs> if if y'all have been with us for a number of years, you are gonna know this dearly loved person, and her name is Brittany. Oh my God. It's her birthday. Y'all oh need to wish her a happy birthday. Happy. <laughs> we miss so all of y'all that know Brittany. You know, she lives in Virginia if now. If you so. know Brittany, you miss Brittany. Yeah. So that is, that's right. Sally <laughs> cover, cover her up. There's a grandma. Oh <laughs> She's dearly missed, but we're so happy to have her yeah. here. Stopping by for a visit. Popped in on her birthday. Happy birthday. What Y'all you wish now? Brittany 19? happy birthday. <laughs> I'm old. She's young. <laughs> So welcome to Farmhouse Fabrics, and we missed you all last week. We were busy with Thanksgiving things, and I'm sure you all were too. We have had some beautiful garments come into us, and we're so excited to share some, some new looks here. We actually have a for real Cinderella ball gown that yeah. was made by Gail Hunter. Dupioni and, and beaded beadwork. It's really beautiful. We have a new Christmas gift in case you're needing some last minute presents for some of your um, sewing besties. Then we have something for y'all. And if you're your own sewing bestie, then you can buy it for yourself. <laughs> Or tell somebody, hey, I know what you can buy me. So um, we have been following Abby's, uh, Abby D. Wilkinson. She has been posting some beautiful Christmas inspirations. Mm -hmm. One includes a plaid and a velveteen. It's really beautiful. This is a, it's a pinafore that she created with an out-of-print pattern. Um, the the out-of-print pattern is, a, is like a, a top from um, Children's Corner. But she, she, when she posted it, she said this could totally be used. This is the pinafore pattern from Creative Keepsakes. You've got to follow her on Instagram and, and her blog. Mm -hmm. And so it's Dress Them Dearly and Abby D. Wilkinson. She has really, really darling creations for her daughter and her sons. Mm -hmm. But. So she incorporated this lace insertion, um, berries and twigs is what we call it, mm -hmm. and she recommends the Creative Keepsakes Pinafore pattern um, if you want to recreate what she's working with. Um, I'm not sure the fabric that she's using outside of the white pinafore top. Did, did she put it over the green velveteen to pretty, match her boys? Because she's making her boys jackets out of the Tate pattern, which we have. The Tate by Children's Corner and... and um, and I feel like she's coordinated that because she's also using this as the center front on um, on her boy's shirts. With mm -hmm. um, and I think it has beading down each side and and. Uh, so if so you're watching us on, on Instagram, on Facebook and YouTube, we have overhead uh, an overhead look. So I can show that here. It makes it a little bit easier oh, to yeah. see all the details Let's of this that. stuff. So um, this is her recommendation is for the pinafore pattern um, by Creative Keepsakes. And then this berries and twig. It's really a delicate um, Swiss insertion. Very pretty. This is one of my favorites. I love that one. Love it. Oh, look, look, look. Thank you. Look. Um, Are we still? Oh, no, we're not overhead still. Y'all, just having Brittany here. Let me show. I'm, I'm waiting for her to tell me the answers. Like, she, oh, she yeah, usually she gives us all the she answers. She probably remembers where everything is. Seriously. So you go overhead on, on that again, and we'll show. This is a picture of Abby's uh, pinafore top. It's gorgeous. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Yeah. How cute that. would this be with it? It Ooh, might work in. As a dress under, that would be beautiful. We've got some new Liberty of London arrivals. This is their 60-inch Tana Lawn. Um, it has a Christmas vibe, which Sally is yeah. reducing the yardage online so that she can create a dress for her yeah. granddaughters. Um, we have coordinated it with a silk dupioni. Um, it's a, a beautiful, like, crimson kind of color. And then I have pulled in this beaded trim to see if Sally feels like incorporating it. It's I do. I do really love it. I do. It's a great coordinate with this. It's so pretty. So Laura this. Simmer Ramos says hi, girls. Hey, hey, hey. Laura. So we, what we're I'm thinking now. is we um, the petunia because of Courtney Malone handmade. She has really brought the right petunia here. into our lives this Christmas season. So um, Peony Patterns is a, an online PDF pattern company, and they offer the petunia pattern. Um, we're calling this our, our look of the season or our season's bestseller because incorporating this wide Swiss edging around the neck, we've seen mm -hmm. so many people do it this year, and it's really, That's really right. beautiful. 
And then just with a simple window pane, and this is a um, Speckler Vogel window pane design. It's a little bit larger than the one from Fabric Finders. So you can see it from a distance for a girl that's a little bit older. Mm. I think it's really sweet. It's, it's beautiful. So the Petunia pattern, it's a PDF pattern, and um, it goes from size 1 to size 14. And I love it. I love that it has a high yoke and then also has a lot of options. Now, she made a long sleeve option. I think she probably made her own adjustment mm -hmm. and just made it long sleeve. But I think it would be very cute as a top. And, in fact, one of my uh, older granddaughters, I think it was Emma, uh, maybe last year had a very cute top made from a pattern like this with a high yoke, and it had a wide entredeau right across the yoke. Other than that, it was she completely was like, simple. She was like eight. Oh, wait. What? That she wasn't was like last eight. year? No. <laughs> <laughs> you that was like, I, I know them, and okay. I do know. <laughs> I, love I might that own that dog. now. Well, plus then I looked everywhere for a, for a, a, a pattern, pattern mm -hmm. like that that I could just whip up and couldn't find it. Well, now I have one, and so everybody size 14 and under yeah. can can have one like it. It's really cute. What I like <laughs> is the neckline has a little um, ease in it, so it's not going to be tight. Nobody's going to be grabbing their neck and pulling it down. And, and so I'm thinking that this would be a good pattern. And this would be a really cute top as well. I think so. Yeah. They look cute with the leggings and the kind of long mm -hmm. tunic tops. I think it's cute. So, and didn't you say it has also has a bubble pattern? So they have a, a petunia bubble and then also the dress version. Yeah. Or they have a, um, you can buy the bubble and the pattern or the dress in yeah. one. So let's see if I get this done. I think I need to because I promised two, two dresses to my daughter-in-law by the 10th. And um, one is cut out. And there's no uh, squeak in that deadline, so. No, no, yeah. that was an important one. So are y'all finished with your Christmas sewing? Have y'all completed um, your looks for Christmas? Are you still buying for Christmas? Or are, are you like, you got it on the table, but you're not yet finished? How's that working for y'all? I'm just curious. You want to know how it's working for me? I know you got a deadline <laughs> in 10 days. <laughs> I don't have anything Christmas ready. Nothing. Not nothing. even her tree. Or Sherry or Sheree. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Munster says, hey now, from New Orleans. Oh, hey, hey. hey. I wonder if it's warm there. And Leilani says she loves the beaded trim. Oh, I think the granddaughter will too. So yeah. if you ever, I mean, this, this really is like, I want to call it magnificent or something. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. And I feel like it's every little girl's dream dress right here. See, was there handy one of those other little... It's, it's upstairs. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So, um, th these bodices came to us. Um, this actually had a bodice and a sleeve with it, but it was from this um, designer, mm -hmm. this New York designer um, who created, like, gowns for the stars kind yeah. of thing. So, they had these pre-made bodices with all this um, beadwork and handwork. And actually, they were, they were a bodice pattern drawn on silk. And is this on silk organza or is this is on the dupioni? Like on the dupioni. Mm -hmm. And so it was just drawn on the silk. We could see the neckline, the shoulder seams, the armholes, and then on down. And it would say size eight or size seven or whatever. And then they were all hand beaded. And they, I asked I asked Gail if was this beading here or did she do it? It's right around the neck. We'll have to put it on the overhead so you can get a close so, up. And she said, No, that was all part of it. And with a little seam allowance. And so then they were ready to be cut out and sewn into a garment but they were all hand beaded and we got we got such a great deal on it if you're looking to make like the a, a little girl the happiest she's ever been mm -hmm. in her life this is actually a cinderella inspired gown gail used um the McCall, mccall's pattern she wasn't quite sure of the number of the mm -hmm. mccall's but they actually have <laughs> costume mccall's patterns um, so she used that, and then she also incorporated Victoria, the Children's Corner Victoria bodice. Um, she made separates here, so she has the skirt um, along with like a, a blouse, kind of like a cropped blouse. And so <clears throat> an inserted um, box pleat, and then in the sleeves, how many? Three, three mm -hmm. in each sleeve in that, in that pale powder blue. So... So I don't beautiful. know. If anyone in your world has, is going to <laughs> Disneyland, like I feel like this is but th look this, at this is the way to do it. So she put a wide, like a two inch wide horsehair braid under the hem. So that made it nice and floopy. Is the floopy a word? 
So we hey, let's put this on um, the, overhead. the overhead and show it. So there's there's your happy girl shot. Her little girl, she went to the bibbity bobbity boo and got her hair and makeup done while she was in in Disneyland. Aww. There's there's the dress on, and then here's that gorgeous beadwork. We'll bring it down just a little bit so you can see it. So this this was all on the garment, and so she just had to cut it out and leave a seam allowance and then sew it together. These are amazing. But it makes me think if you find something like at a at a Goodwill or a secondhand store, you know I mean, what? you cut can it apart. you can cut it apart and use that to create this kind of. Oh, that's a I great mean, idea. This is gorgeous and it's made with beautiful fabrics. But yeah. you could do the same thing for Halloween, or you could have some kind of oh, if it's a goodness. birthday themed birthday party. Um, Absolutely. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. You got some people in your same boats for the Christmas progress. <laughs> <laughs> they said not ready. Not even close to ready. Right. You got it on the table, but not finished. Oh, my goodness. I just goodness. can't even believe it's December yet. That's weird enough. Yeah, along the same line same line as the dressy. I'm going to pull that little dress down. So we, we talked about this little pink lace dress, which it was a border. It's a border print. And, and I just wanted to show you because it always b bothers me when, when I make something like this. And you can see that the edges hang down because with the, the lining, you can cut the lining. Like with an A-line, it, it's cut up on the sides and scoops down in the front and the back. But with a border print, you really can't do that. And so I have been watching uh, the most amazing, wonderful young lady who has a fabulous business. Her name is Sarah Colis Designs, and K-O-L-I-S, Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, K-O-L-I-S, Designs. She lives, I think, Novi, Michigan, and that's not far from where I grew up. And she designs wedding gowns, mother of the bride, lots of wedding things. She's had things in New York on the runway, and she's such a cute person, but it's very fun to watch how she does alterations on fabrics and all that. So I was watching the other day and she talked about a border a border print and <clears> what <throat> she has done. So this this fabric right here at one time had this as the border. This the little scallopy parts down, yeah. That's the border. So if I was making an A-line, it would droop on the sides. What she does is she cuts the border off, which like this has been cut off, you would trim the border off. So for instance, let's, yeah. let's see the overhead. Okay. <clears throat> I mean like on here, you you would actually trim around here and, and trim that border off. And then then you would cut your A-line dress and you could scoop it up just at the as sides, the pattern just is as the pattern formed. calls. Mm -hmm. And then you go back on and you take the, the trim that you have removed and you actually can hand sew it on and you can you can um reattach it yeah re reattach it to where it angles up mm -hmm. on the sides because because you can have it's, it has enough give in it that you can make it scoop on the sides and that way you don't have like this always bothered me where it where it droops on the sides and that way you don't have any drooping going on and you know with an adult dress you even have more because it's longer and um like, so. I feel like it would be something that's scary because, um, especially you have a completely see-through or sheer fabric. Mm -hmm. So you think if you, you start in with scissors that it's going to be really obvious, but with so much, um, like work, machine work, hand work, yeah. it's really forgiving. So you're going right. to come back and you're going to cover up those cut lines mm -hmm. and it really does it like seamlessly when you, when you reattach the uh, edging. The dresses that she's done. They're, they're fabulous. And then also she will take, like this is good if you're um, sewing an all lace garment. She will even take a piece of the lace and cut it out and attach it here or someplace to give it, um, to cover up a spot if it's like, if it's too low for somebody. And it just all kind of blends in. Mm -hmm. it's, cool. it's amazing. I never would have thought that you could do that. But she's a professional and it's really neat watching her handle it. And and then if you're doing wedding dresses and you want to know how to bustle something, I can't believe how beautifully they bustle. And then they can have this beautiful long train on a wedding gown. And then she's got it all where it bustles up. And so then it's even all the way around. And then at their reception, they can dance and they don't drag it in the dirt. And yeah, it's neat. If, if you haven't followed her, you will love her. She's, she, plus she's super cute. 
She's a cute little thing. She's young. She's really creative, and all her little brides love her. She's been written up in the in the knot, and you know, just fun. I'm she's, really glad she's to find talented. Her. So not only are you gonna follow somebody that's doing interesting things, I mean, she's she yeah. really can handle the type of work right. she's doing. It's right. It's interesting. That's that's really been fun. So something else. We'll talk about our gifts. Um, it's Christmas time, and here at Farmhouse Fabrics, we like last minute. And so, <laughs> if you're in that boat, which it sounds like maybe you are with your sewing, um, we are offering some uh, Christmas gifts that aren't breaking the bank. Um, we have a $35 value. Um, this Christmas gift is going to come completely wrapped. It's They're all going to have their own individual bags, so it's kind of like a present in the mail. Um, and then, uh, inside of here, I'm going to open it. Okay. All right, so inside of here, we have um, a different collection of notions. Um, it's from so, it's recommended from some of our favorite sewists, like Gail Doan, Jane Seeley, and Connie Palmer. Um, it's all bubble wrapped and protected. It has a $10 off coupon that can be used in January um, on, $60, on $60 or more orders. Um, a Styla marking pen, different needles for different um, techniques that you can try with your machine. So... It's just a cute collection of different sewing notions from around our shop. Um, so what's the, the price on that? It's a twenty, a $35 value, mm -hmm. um, and it's available for $20. Mm -hmm. So then we have a larger, depending on if you're gifting yourself or gifting someone else, um, we have a $75 value, and then along with those items that, that were in the other gift, it includes our new, this is a really popular pin cushion, um, it's a little bit larger than a normal tomato, mm -hmm. and it's felt, but they're really cute. Um, we have a pressing partner, which comes with a fat quarter of wool and a fat quarter of mm -hmm. silk organza. Uh, an assortment of floss, and then um, our favorite blue line eraser, which is like if you want to be your own magician for removing um, <laughs> blue lines for fabric marking pens. And that, that comes with all the other notions that you just showed in the... So this yeah. is a $75 value, including, mm -hmm. including this. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, it's available for $55. Yeah. So if you need a last minute gift, you can send this straight to them. Or um, if you're going to a party and you need a favor, this might be a good sewing notion favor. Yeah. You know, that made me think about um, there will be a lot of last minute gift certificates that people are purchasing. And so if you are purchasing this and you want to give it as a gift at Christmas time, and you don't want it to go to the person, you need to make sure you have it emailed to yourself, and not and don't put the don't put your the person that's receiving this gift don't put their email in the recipient's email because otherwise it won't be a surprise on Christmas. So <laughs> <laughs> so be sure be sure and if you want to hand it to somebody, you can print it and we have a free um, some some options for free. Cute. What are they? A, it's a PDF download. download where you can fill out the information and that it's a gift from you and that, and that kind of thing. You can download that. That's that's free. So through um, the blog Needle and Thread, we are getting to know Mary Corbett better. Corbett. 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 We don't know her well enough to know her name, <laughs> but she's Mary Corbett. Her her website is Needle and Thread. She sells um, sewing notions for handwork. And, I mean, I would call her an, an expert. Yeah, I would, too. Yeah. She designs unbelievable needlework designs, kits and things like that. And she does gold work. She does, like, all the All the really, how are you going to do that? You want to yeah, do it, but how are you going to really, do it? really, really high-end cool stuff. And so, really, if you haven't, we've mentioned her before, and I hope a lot of you have signed up for her newsletter because she sent one almost every day. Yeah, it's I mean, impressive. She's, it is impressive. Yeah. It is. So she sent one today, and and I loved it. And so I'm like, okay, Kristen, you got to help me because I'm I'm spatially relation challenged. <laughs> how she sews? Because I had to help her tie a bow. I don't know how she sews, y'all. <laughs> I can tie a bow, but but I'm looking at this paper thinking, okay, this is left and this is right, and this goes here and this goes here. Mary Corbett is giving you a step-by-step -step on how to tie the per perfect bow, and they come out beautifully. You, you've you got to see it. So I printed this straight up from her newsletter. Look how clear everything is. I mean, it's so clearly written and um, illustrated, even with arrows. And I'm like, okay, that means this one, and that goes here. And so I said, Kristen, you got to help me. 
And so anyway, Kristen helped me. That's why she never <laughs> follows a pattern, y'all. You know, that, that might be true. <laughs> Just kidding. That might Kim be. Harrington, she's a fan. She says she loves Mary Corbett. I'm working on her Christmas stitch oh. snippet right yeah. now. Yes, I that know what she's talking about. It. It's really detailed and cute. Pat Costello says, I'm with you, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she suggests on tying a small bow that you can use a hair pick. And I said, I have one in my purse. <laughs> and Kristen's like, you have a hair pick in your purse? <laughs> I said, yeah. I feel like that's an 80s thing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got some hairspray in there, too? <laughs> no. Aquanet. <Yeah. laughs> no. no. I have a lot of weird stuff in there, though. And then Connie Palmer said, you can also use the quick pleater. You can also use your quick pleater tools if you have them. These are they happen to be the large size. The large size. So... So anyway, I'm going to have Kristen so show you how you we did So if you have trouble it. reading oh, the directions, yeah. let's do it live. <laughs> yeah, let's do it live. So here is... Now that I've been talking junk, I won't be able to yeah, do it. Yeah, watch that. So okay. she, she walks you through, I mean, step by step. But um, what's so nice about these tined picks, hair picks that you might find in your purse, is um, <laughs> she counts out the spacing and tells you exactly where yeah. to, to thread the ribbon, I guess you would say. So I'm going to go to the overhead. Um, so what she instructs for the size ribbon that you're creating is you go between the eighth and the ninth tine. Is it a tine on a hair pick or just I forks? Guess it's like forks. I don't know. It if, felt right. If it was a really tiny ribbon, like a one sixteenth. Nope. I'm already backwards. Yeah, yeah. I do that every time. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to cross it. Yeah. And then after you get here, you're going to go back in the middle, which on this, on her instructions happen to be the fourth and the fifth. You're going to thread it through. Underneath the, underneath the crossed over ribbon. Then you're going to bring it back up to the top in the back. And you're going to bring it back down in that same exact time that you thread it through on the top. So um, she gives you much better written instructions than I am verbal, just so you know. But I've done it, so now I know how to do it. So um, once you thread it through the fourth and the fifth, you're going to bring it back over the top in between that same fourth and the fifth. She instructs you to make sure that you create a loop by placing your thumb up underneath um, the original crossed uh, over. Uh, 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 uh. And you're going to come across through that fourth and the fifth. This one's bigger. It's kind of harder, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you're going to bring it down and back up through that crossed over. Y'all y'all can incorporate this on dresses, like on little accents. Mm -hmm. But also, if you're about to tie Christmas ribbons. This is where I got lost. <laughs> So there, you you bring it up, back, around the back, up through, and then once you're right here, you're going to flip it down and back through. She instructs you that this is the only place that you can tighten this ribbon, so you're really going to kind of work it around to get it tighter. And um, voila, isn't it pretty? That's the back, y'all. Look how pretty the front is. Look at that. It's so isn't that easy. Cute? So then what's so great about this is it's going to be exactly the same across all the ribbons that you're creating or all the bows that you're using. Now, the one thing you really cannot just pull one of the one of the tails because it'll it'll untie it. But but when you're ready to put it on something like if you want to put it on a hair bow or on an ornament or something and you once you sew it down or glue it down, it's not going to go anywhere. But it's like perfect every time. Mary perfect. Corbett and her blog or website is Needle and Thread. And it's N, not A N D. Needle N with a letter N. And look at here. I did that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so very yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So, so get her newsletter because. This is your job. Get her newsletter. <laughs> because she has wonderful tips, even if you don't um, do hand stitching. She's got, oh, and she has the cutest, um, like, needle minders and all that kind of stuff. You're going to love it. It's so cute. So a new Liberty that came in to us is a Liberty Linen. Um, yeah, I love this This one. has been a very popular print for us. We used to have it in the Tonalon. Um, it's kind of like a safari. I can't remember what the name of the print is. It's um, Q for the zoo. Q, or something Q like. to the zoo or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So it has, um, they're a great size for yeah. children sewing. Um, what is all this stuff? Cool animals, chameleons, parakeets, Giraffe. uh, giraffe, elephants. elephants. He looks like maybe an anteater. I don't know. But they're so cute. Mm -hmm. And this happens to be a linen cotton blend. 
and um, which is not your everyday yeah. Liberty of London. Love it. Love it. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Same yeah. animals. Yep. I love the liberties that, that we've gotten in. Like this one that Kristen already talked about. I thought that is so Christmassy to me. And and I know it's lightweight, but down here you can use it in this kind of weather. Oh, definitely. And just put a little sweater on or something mm -hmm. like that. It'd be wonderful. It'd be wonderful. So we've been doing weekly giveaways here at Farmhouse. And um, what we do is we post on Thursday. And you can get in on the action of the giveaway by following the rules of the posting. Tagging a friend and commenting to our question. We have had such a wonderful time <laughs> with this week's question and, and all your responses because it's uh, we love cooking here yeah. as well. And um, what, what were I mean, some of somebody, your favorites? Well, somebody even said, um, well, I wish I had all these recipes. And I, I said, you know, I thought the same thing, that when I was reading these, like, we should make a cookbook with all of these holiday recipes. They're amazing. Well, I love when, when um, how many generations? Somebody said for so five. Many, five generations mm -hmm. they've been making this. Mm -hmm. And then it was that the same one where there's not an exact recipe. They said you can tell by feeling it if it's mm -mm. if you need more of this or this or this. Anyway, your food sounds really <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> it was like, didn't you want to go cook when you read it? It's like, oh my goodness. And then so many of you have history of family coming from other countries, and so they bring those other cultures in the food and. Um, that's so really awesome, neat, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I really love neat. the traditional things that you do mm -hmm. every Christmas or whatever. So I, I think yeah. that's so cool to yeah. talk about that. Penny Do Champlain says, uh, lightweight is great for the holidays because of the cooking and the house is always hot. so hot, even up here in the north. It does get hot. But Ann Dixon um, was commenting on the queue at the zoo and she made her grandson a tailored shirt out of this. Ooh, oh, that would cute. be cute. Yeah, I love that. So what you got up here? Well, we, we talked about the buckle jumper, and I wish I had a picture of Stephanie Dabb's jumper that she made. We've had Stephanie here, and um, she before, she, she sews for little girls all around the country that are in, like, classic pageants. And so she grabbed a hold of the um, buckle jumper and made it with a nice applique on the front. Oh, it was really, That's really cute. cute. And so this is from Creative Keepsakes, and these are from the 80s but they're adorable and people are buying them again and they come every pattern comes with the buckles comes with two buckles and now we have buckles in stock also so that you you know once you use the two buckles in this pattern we have lots of them and they're not very expensive so then we started looking and thought well we need more than what else does she have because we like the 90 minute pinafore we've mm -hmm. made that and then so she has the buckle 101 bubble. variations for the a line yes, that's amazing yes. So we have now the buckle bubble, and this comes in sizes one and two and three and four. And so it's it's darling too. So it shows it with the smocked version. It shows it with the applique on the front. You can do all kinds of things with, with these. Another new arrival here is our um, Vogue. It's The pattern number is 1856, and there are three different lengths for this coat. We're calling it our, our latest obsession, mm -hmm. actually. Yep. Um, there are two different size ranges from 6, 7, 8, or it starts at 2, 235, 2345, and then the next size up is 6, 7, 8. Um, it's a very structured, it has different front opening options, which I love, different collar views. Somebody um, sent us a picture of a one that they had made that was really mm, darling. Yes, gorgeous. And then Connie Palmer called today. She's moved to Virginia. For why are all people moving to Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> and um, she said that when she, we showed this pattern, she said, I love that Vogue pattern. Mm -hmm. And she went to um, Joanne's up in Virginia, and she bought it. Cool. And so I was like, oh, man, I can't wait to see what she's going to make out of it. But she loved the little short version, and that didn't you kind of like that? We oh, used to I call that, that a car coat. I don't mm -hmm. know why that was a car coat, but um, anyway, that that's really cute. And so that's very um, tailored, and just like Gail Doan has her traditional wool coat class, and if you if you want to learn about tailoring, I would take Gail Doan's class. It's wonderful, GailDoan.com. and Gail can teach you about the <clears throat> the interfacings and about all the different types of tailoring. And then this this is another another way you can use her information. And so then this pattern, I think I showed this to you. This is a discontinued pattern. I saw it and I ordered it. And I was so excited. This is Butterick B8. I 
B5819, B5819, because I thought my older girls would love it, and they do love the picture. But I was thrown off a little bit because I started reading it, and, and there's no seam finish on the edges. So you either have to use a fleece or a wool melton. But I'm thinking I can just add a seam allowance to everything and line it. Now this, the, this has a high-low, but this one doesn't. And um, if I lined it, it would work, I think. Mm -hmm. But I'll show you uh, one of the fabrics I pulled out that I think would be cute with this pattern. And this is for one of the older girls, like Emma. Mm -hmm. This tweed, I think, would be I really, love a really tweed pretty. Fabric. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So just out of this would be gorgeous. Oh man, that would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm looking at the wools. I think this would be wonderful in that. So with this one, would you not finish this? Would you leave the selvage as the? No, because I think it. I think it curves. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. All the lines. And so I could. Right. If, if I could cut it straight like mm -hmm. that, I could I could totally do that. Wouldn't that be cute? Hey. Why if not? it's not a curve, where is that pattern? Right here. We got to look and see what the pattern pieces look like. Some of these, like A and B, let's just see. Are y'all sewing up a coat this winter? Yeah. We're moving past uh, Christmas sewing, but definitely moving in towards coats and long alls and I thought lined. I might. Hey, look at Penny says blanket stitch on the edge of the cape. Ooh, by hand. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do it by hand. Look at this though. I'm gonna. Sh well, we can go to the overhead in a minute. These are these are straight lines. You can I do could, it. I could do it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be so easy. I love that with this. This yeah. little. Yeah. Excited, y'all. <laughs> yeah. And so my older girls love the version with this offset collar and it's like a big offset collar and then emma and emma and lila both were like oh i love that how oh, neat but leilani said she bought that tweed to make a jacket for herself when she finished oh yeah Christmas oh, oh, oh yeah that would let be me beautiful. know how, how it goes i love this mm -hmm. yeah i was back there looking through the wools because you know i've got to well we scheduled a photo shoot for these on the 19th of december and now i'm thinking i might make it maybe I I have the 10th of December for the two dresses. I, I can I can probably do it. I just think I can do it. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So um, for our weekly giveaways, this week we actually are drawing three names. Um, in this one pot, you might get one of the three uh, different different options here. Um, we coordinated up a beautiful um, Christmas theme. Let's draw for that one first. Okay. Uh, we had a Christmas theme, red, white, and green for um, one of the winners. Okay. Yeah, look at that chunk of corduroy. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. over two yards. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know. I started pulling out piles of things, and I thought, we need to make more than more than one giveaway. I hope this is a last-minute person that makes chocolate chip cookies. Ah, let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm a last minute person that makes chocolate chip <laughs> cookies. <laughs> this is Debbie Cabinus Hobbs. During the holidays, I always make cornbread dressing. I like it with a little sage in it. Some people don't like sage. If you have a turkey or hen, you have to have a dressing. I would love this giveaway. All right. So, Debbie, you get this one. Cool. Somewhere I've got tape. Oh, I know where it is behind me. All, All right. right. What's next? So, you now we have. Trims? A trims giveaway. So it's a collection of different lengths of trims. And all different kinds, including ribbons and double ruffle ribbon and a Clooney lace, a vintage Clooney. I want a pie. Is there a pie in there? There's, oh, there might be. Go ahead and you dig. Okay. All right. I got Jackie Crisp. She says, love all Apple the giveaways. Crisp. My favorite recipe is my daughter's molasses cookies. Ooh. And she only makes them at Christmas. All Very right. nice. All right. So now this one is a really cool one. In fact, I, I really looked at this. This is a this has panels and it's kind of a just so drapey like a crepe and it has four panels in it. And I thought, now that'd be cute in that pattern that I was looking at for the girls. But I thought, well let, let's just make let's just make an assortment. This is a silk dupioni and then this is a, a Swiss a voil in blue. All right, right. Sadie Sue, who are you going to get? I want a layer cake. A layer cake. Oh, it'll be the German chocolate cake. Somebody. 
favorite holiday food is homemade yeast rolls. That's oh. Sharp 4842. Those sound delicious. So who is it? Sharp 4842. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We'll see y'all back here soon. Yeah. Okay. Let me.